Hey everyone, Zach here, and welcome to the 11th and final lesson of this series, an introduction to Unreal Engine. In this lesson, we will build our project so we have an executable file. Remember, this series has focused on building our game using blueprints. In a few weeks, I'll be releasing a, another series with a similar concept, but instead we'll be doing this project using C++. Congratulations on making it this far. So let's just finish this project out. Fire up your editor, open your project, and let's get started. All right, and welcome back to the editor for our final lesson. We have a little few things we need to take care of before we can build our project. First thing, we need to make sure that all of our levels have the correct game mode. So we want the third person game mode in this one. Let's go to our second level. Let's make sure it's third person game mode as well. And also save each time in each map. Third person game mode again. Control S save. Go to our menu. That should be our menu mode. And we're actually going to make one more change in our menu mode. Let's go back to our GP menu mode. Let's go to our game settings. And in our menu mode, we want to make the cursor visible. So what we're going to do is show our set UI input mode only. So we're going to have a reference to that. We are going to get our player controller. So get player controller and the return value goes into player controller. All right, compile and save. And just be on the safe side, we're going to set show mouse cursor as true. We're just going to plug that into the end there as well. And we're going to put a reroute in just to make it a little bit easier to read. Compile, save. All right, and now let's go to our credit screen and make sure that in our credits, we have the correct game mode, and we do. So the next thing we want to do is because we don't have a way to easily exit the game right now without hitting Alt F4 in a built version. So we'll go back to our settings. All right, and in our project, in our maps and our mode, first thing we're going to do actually is change our game default map, not our editor map, our game default map to our main menu. So this is the first thing that will load up when a new game starts. And then go to your inputs under engine and we're going to add in a new action mapping. So if you click this little triangle, you can see we have some action mapping. We have a VR one that was included with the template we use that we haven't used. So don't worry about that. We're just going to hit add. And this one will be, we'll name this one exit or quit. Whatever you want to name it. And just extend it out. And in here, we're just going to search for the escape key. All right. So what we need to do is we actually need to get this key value to this key because right now it just has a name and it says all right when we hit escape we want to do something called exit so let's go back to our to our uh, main folder here and let's find our character let's find our blueprint and our third person character let's open this guy up and then we're just going to right click and search for the word escape so we have a keyboard event on escape. When we press the key, so when we press the escape key, oh, sorry, don't search escape, search exit. So we want the action event exit. So in this one, what we're going to do is we're going to search for an, our new event. So we're going to search for exit. And on exit, when we press that key, what we want to have happen is we want to have it quit the game. There we go. Compile, save. Now, we have one more step we need to do before we can actually build our project. So let's go back to our main window here and go down to our widgets. And let's open up our main menu. And in here, when we hit either a load or new game, we want to change the game mode. So first we want to do set game mode. So set input game mode only get player controller and we're just going to select sorry I 
I just got player character. Player controller. Get player controller. Plug that into there. There we go. Select both of these. Duplicate them. And then paste them into the end here. All right. Let's hit play. Make sure this works real quick as a test. So new game. Yep. Okay. Now, if we unplug these, I'm going to show you what happens. We hit play. New game. I can't move the character. It's still in UI mode. So just keep that plugged in. Save it. Compile. And finally, let's go to our project settings. And just make sure everything is squared away. From here, you want to go to packaging. And in packaging, you want to switch from development to, you want to leave this on development or shipping, depending on what you're doing. We'll leave it on development for now. You do not need to have full rebuild like I do selected. I just do this because I'm rebuilding after testing a few different things out for this. With all that done, go back to your main window, control S, save everything. Now we can either do a launch to test it or we can just build the executable. For the purpose of this, we're just gonna build the executable. So go down to package project and choose the appropriate system that you're working with. So I'm on Windows and I'm on a 64-bit version of it. And I'm just gonna go and put it into a folder that I have called final. And I'm gonna select that folder and it's going to start building. This will take a few minutes, and if you want, you can watch the log of it building as it goes through, see if there's any errors that come up. But once this is done, um, I'll resume the video. Okay, so once it's done, go to your folder, and as you see, I'm in final here already, and we have Windows No Editor, and let's open that up, and you can see we have our project name as the executable file. So let's go ahead and run that. All right, now I still need to build lighting, apparently. We skip that step, and we will take care of that in a second. This is just to make sure this works. Hit new game. All right, auto save. Awesome, that auto saved work. Worked. Auto save. Let's see if I can actually make it to that cube. Nope, I fell short. I really should stop trying to do that. But I'm going to do it one more time, so I'm gonna make that cube. There we go. I'm not good at platformer games, apparently. All right, let's make sure our escape key works now. There it goes, it quits. Let's open it back up and make sure our load actually works correctly. Hit load, there we are in the third level. So, well, unfortunately the collision boxes are not something that we can really address right there. Ooh, that was bad. All right, let's just quit out. So make sure we don't need to build lighting. Because it says build lighting still, we need to address that real quick, yep. So we need to build our lighting. To do that, what we're gonna do is we are just simply going to go to build on our main screen, do build lighting only. And this might take a few moments and I'm gonna pause the video while this goes through. You just need to sit and let it go. Oh, I say that and it finished it out. Oh, yeah, and now it's done building lighting. So now that it's done, I'm just gonna repackage, repackage the project and see that it actually goes through correctly. I'm gonna select final again and I'll see you in a minute. All right, it's done compiling the packaging of the project, so let's go ahead and test it, make sure it actually says that it doesn't need lighting built. Okay, it's gone, let's load, and let's just see if I can get to the end of the level. I always go to the right, I'm gonna go to the left this time. Oh my God, I don't know why it's much harder to the left. But that said, that brings us to the end of this series. If you've enjoyed this series, go ahead and leave a like down below. If you want to see a particular tutorial for a particular topic, let me know in the comments or join me in Discord and let me know directly there. That said, I hope to see you in my other tutorials and I hope you have a great time developing your own games, your own projects. I hope you come to the Discord channel and show off whatever you're working on. And, uh, finally I can get through that thing. And... I hope that you have a wonderful day.